Are you thinking about getting a new construction home with all the new bells and whistles? Hi, I'm Kimmy Roth with Berkshire Hathaway Fox and & Roach, and these are the 10 questions you need to ask the sales representative before you get too excited and sign a contract. And above everything else, be sure that you have your own representation because the agent at the builder's job is to protect the seller and get them the best terms and price. Questions to ask the builder. Number one, how long has the builder been in business and building in the area? You wanna ensure you're working with a reputable builder who knows the market, who's knowledgeable about the local area and market conditions. Number two, can the builder provide three references of past clients? You wanna know the builder handles repairs and meets deadlines. Three, what are the standards and upgrade finishes? Make sure to receive an itemized list of upgrades and finishes so that you know what is standard and what's an upgrade. Remember, those models have all the bells and whistles to make you want to buy them, but most of that fancy shiny stuff will be added to the price tag of the home. Number four, what are the timelines for each building phase? For example, the days it will take to lay the foundation and complete framing of the house. Number five, can you have a four-point inspection of the property? Four-point inspections are shorter evaluations that focus on four key areas in the home. The electrical system, the plumbing, the roof, and the HVAC system. And this can be costly, but you can hire a licensed independent inspector to double check the builder's quality of work during the key phases of the construction process. Most builders welcome it because it helps them affirm the quality of their work and protects them. Number six, what warranties are provided with the house? Typically the builder offers a one year, maybe a little bit more warranty with the purchase and new appliance warranties, but there are extended warranties for things like construction windows and foundation, etc. Number seven is landscaping, included in the front or the back or both. Eight, what is the size of the lot? Make sure it is included in the purchase price or is there a lot premium? Number nine, does the builder offer any incentives with purchasing the property? Sometimes builders will give a closing cost credit if you use their preferred lender. They will give you even more closing cost credit, but again, be careful as the mortgage broker is also wanting you to keep the builder happy, so make sure there is a no conflict of interest. Lastly, number 10, is the builder aware of any major developments planned at this time or in the next five years near the property? For example, plans for a cemetery to be built in the back of the homes. I hope these tips help you and be sure to reach out to us if you're thinking about buying new construction. Don't forget the agent at the office is there to protect and negotiate on behalf of the seller and you want someone in your corner too. It doesn't cost you any money. It's just more likely may end up actually paying you more without proper representation. Again, this is Kimmy Ralph with Berkshire Hathaway Fox and Roach. Kimmy Ralph sells the main line and local areas. Thank you.